How's it going? Sunny. As always. Um, I'm gonna review a toy today. Alright, so today we do have the uh, McFarlane Bloody Noob Cybot. Bloody Noob Cybot! From the Mortal Kombat line. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So we'll throw the 1 million points up on the board. So it's not very uh, articulated, as we'll see. So his arms can bend, bend there too. Uh, throw his arms out. He wants to kind of lunge at somebody. Moves forward. Uh, Got to keep him on the stand because he can't stand on his own. So the fact that he can't stand on his own very easily. Uh, we'll knock off uh, 167,000 points, 167,813 points because I need that base for him to stand on. Um, but once you do have him on there, you can, you can pose him however you'd like. Uh, as far as the articulation is concerned, it's not too bad. Actually, it's pretty good for a McFarlane figure. Um, if you want to be a little teapot, he uh, certainly can tip him over and pour him out. So as far as little teapot abilities, uh, we're going to add on 97 points for that. Uh, he does come with this weapon right here. It's like a spinal cord or something. Some sort of weird shank spinal cord hook thing. Uh, I'm going to give him... Uh, 904 points for having that right there uh, so there is a regular version of noob cybot this is the bloody noob cybot bloody noob cybot um, but as far as being a McFarlane figure this one actually does have some thigh swivel to him so so it was right there. So in case he comes looking a little knock kneed, you can actually twist those knees out a little bit right there. Um, I had to do that because when I pulled him out, he looked knock kneed. So I was like, he'll never win a fight knock kneed. He'll be uh, hitting his knees together too much. Can't win. Uh, he does look pretty cool. So based on the cool factor, the way he looks, uh, we're going to throw in an additional 1,649 points for looking cool and for being the uh, bloody noob cybot. <laughs> bloody noob cybot. People that don't know, that's Ed Boone and John Tobias backwards. Uh, a little trivia there. But there he is right there. Um, see him, pick him up, final score, whatever it happens to be. So let's go ahead and do some size comparisons here. So we do have the noob side by now. McFarlane figures are approximately like a one tenth scale, not really one twelfth scale. So if you put them next to uh, 2022 Toy of the Year per the uh, Toy Association, Marvel's The Hood. We'll see that he is slightly larger than him. Uh, he doesn't really scale very well with it. They both have hoods on, so uh, they could probably be friends. But he's probably screaming under that mask. I just can't see. But uh, yeah, there he is next to Marvel Legends, uh, the hood, a.k.a. Toy of the Year. And then we also do have him next to this old roll of duct tape. Uh, now you can see that the duct tape is old. It has like lint and hair and all kinds of, well, this is dog hair, but it has all kinds of nasty stuff attached to it. Um, he is taller than this old duct tape. Uh, duct tape is almost the same silver as his silver accents. Uh, he is more fun to play with than the duct tape. Um, but there he is next to that old duct tape. 
And here he is next to a pack of sour gummy bears. Um, he is slightly taller than this package of gummy bears. He's less sour than the gummy bears. Uh, he doesn't come with as many nutrition facts as the gummy bears. Um, I think he may actually come with a warning if you swallow small pieces or something like that. Uh, which, I mean, technically makes him edible like these gummy bears. Uh, but there he is next to these gummy bears. And here he is next to the headset that y'all might see me wear on live streams. As you can see, he's shorter than the headset. Uh, he's skinnier than the headset. He uh, also does not allow me to speak into him to communicate with you out there. Um, the way the headphones do, he also doesn't allow me to hear what's going on the way the headphones do. Uh, but there he is next to the headphones. Um, so overall, he's a pretty dope figure. If you see him in stores, pick him up. Um, you know, because he looks cool. Uh, he is also pretty poseable. Um, but I do want to thank everyone for watching. Um, as always, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like the video, comment, share the video. Um, even if people don't like toys, if they like Mortal Kombat, send it to them. They'll be confused, but I don't care. Um, all I care about is the view. So I do appreciate everyone for watching again, and uh, y'all have a great night. Bloody noob sober! <laughs> Bloody noob sober! Bloody noob sober!